this is not the video that I wanted to make today, but here I am. I've been getting bombarded with messages on my Instagram of people saying that I am racist and they're going to unsubscribe from my channel. And like, where is this coming from? Like, what, what is going on? And I, I like, here I am again, because this happened like, what, two, three years ago? And I see a tweet of Adam McIntyre, which someone I've never talked to, never hung out with, posting on Twitter that I'm racist and retweeting old clips from things that I've already addressed from years ago. Why, why, why are you coming for me? I don't even, I don't even mess with you like that. Then I asked, Ethan Klein posted this uh, drama channel of the year where you vote for your favorite drama channel. I'm on there. Adam's on there. In the comments, people are saying, oh, Adam, you're bringing up old receipts of Rich Lux to get people not to vote for him. That is some, that When that happened years ago, I went through hell to deal with that. I almost gave up and I pushed through. And I've worked my ass off to get to where I'm at, from sleeping on the floor to get to where I'm at today, to be able to provide for myself. And so for you to go online and regurgitate this propaganda that I've apologized and made several videos for, just so that you can look good and win a voting competition for Drama Channel of the Year, go ahead. If it means that much to you, go ahead. Take me off the list. Because it's not worth it for me. I know I'm a good drama channel. If there's one thing I know how to do is drama. But you're hitting below the belt to, to win what? It's not worth it. I don't know you. I don't want to know you. That is not cool. Why would you do that to me? I'm so, I'm so, so I'm like so nervous and dropping stuff. Why would you do that to me? I don't, what, for what? I've apologized and I've went through therapy to get through that time of my life. And if you look at that video that he's posting from years ago, I'm not even the same person in that video. Totally different look. I've worked on myself 100%. This is not cool. And I don't understand why you would do that. To win an competi online competition of best drama channel of the year? Are you effing serious with me? That you're going to stoop that low to hit below the belt? I said when I was nominated... Thank you for the nomination. I'm, I'm shook by everybody on the category. They're such great people and best of luck to whoever who wins. It's not that serious to me. But evidently it means so much to you that you're going to go through and try to dig up dirt on your competition so you could win best drama channel of the year. Go ahead. If it means that much to you, go ahead. But to me, that's not okay and does not sit right with me. I have worked on myself. That is not okay. I am literally triggered by what is happening right now on Twitter and my Instagram DMs. That is not okay with me. I am not a racist. And I said before, I've apologized for that clip. It was taken out of context. People twisted it up. And every time something, I'm on the verge of something good happening to me, people bring that old receipt back up every time. I'm often conflicted. Is this something that I have to apologize every single time is brought up? Or is the several, three, four apologies good enough and just leave it the way it is? And I've told myself every time it gets brought up, I'm just going to apologize for it because it means that much to me wholeheartedly because that's not who I am. I'm so angry right now. Okay, I'm back. I had to take a moment to collect myself and just breathe. I really... I don't know, I can even get through it. By you sharing that old clip that I've apologized for time and time again, it just really brought me back and really triggered me to a place that I thought I've worked through time and time again. So I just feel like because of that and you sharing it and now your audience sees that, not knowing that I've made several videos apologizing about it, that I've worked through it, not knowing the trauma that I went through, but you sharing that to your audience just so that you could win a vote really, really hurt my feelings. And it really took me to a dark place. I'm going to step away from the internet for a few hours so I can collect myself and come back because it, it really hurts.